My beloved children, I am the one who was and is and is to come, the almighty, eternal, and ever-present God. Let my words resound within the depths of your souls, for I bring forth a message of profound truth and profound warning. Hearken unto my voice, for my sovereignty extends over all creation, and none can escape the weight of my judgment or the radiance of my mercy. From times immemorial, I have established signs and wonders in the heavens to declare my majesty and deliver proclamations to humanity. My beloved child, throughout the ages I have demonstrated my sovereignty and justice while also extending mercy to those who turn from their wicked ways. In the days of Nebuchadnezzar, I delivered three faithful servants, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who refused to bow down to an idol that exalted human desires above my holy precepts. Though they faced the fiery furnace, I rescued them, revealing my power and the depths of my love for those who remain steadfast in their devotion to me. I also called forth my servant Jonah to proclaim a message of repentance to the wicked city of Nineveh. Though Jonah initially fled from this task, I pursued him, demonstrating my unwavering commitment to offering mercy to those who turn from their sinful ways. When Jonah finally obeyed and the Ninevites repented, I withheld my judgment, showcasing my compassion and desire for all to come to repentance. These stories serve as a reminder that I am a God of both justice and mercy. I will not allow wickedness to go unpunished, but I also delight in extending forgiveness to those who humbly seek my face. My heart's desire is for all to turn from their transgressions and experience the abundant life I have in store for them. In the days of Jonah, I sent my servant to the wicked city of Nineveh, calling its inhabitants to repentance. As Jonah approached the city's borders, I orchestrated a celestial phenomenon, a solar eclipse visible from Nineveh's gates. This cosmic event undoubtedly struck fear into the hearts of the Ninevites. When Jonah entered the city, proclaiming my impending judgment upon their wickedness, the Ninevites responded with humble contrition, donning sackcloth and ashes, symbols of penitence and humility, they heeded my call to repentance. Through Jonah's obedience and the Ninevites' repentance, I demonstrated my mercy and desire for the redemption of those who turn from their sinful ways. In this present age, I continue to employ the marvels of the celestial realm to awaken humanity to matters of eternal consequence. It serves as a reminder of my sovereignty over all creation and the importance of heeding my call to repentance. As you behold the stars before you, let it stir within you contemplation of the deeper spiritual meanings woven into the fabric of time. In the forthcoming season of Passover, set aside to commemorate the ancient liberation of my chosen people, there lies a subtle echo of a grander narrative, a tale of deliverance from the shackles of bondage, both physical and spiritual. Just as I once provided avenues of escape for the repentant and sheltered the faithful under the shadow of sacrificial protection, so too do I extend my mercy and grace to all who earnestly seek me with contrite hearts and unwavering trust. I urge you to maintain unwavering vigilance and steadfast faith. For in my movements that I have ordained, profound truths and solemn warnings are encoded awaiting those with eyes to see and ears to hear. The events that shall transpire within this 14-day window and beyond carry weighty implications, both for the temporal realm and the eternal destinies of souls. Let not your hearts be troubled, for I am the Sovereign Lord who guides you with infinite wisdom and omnipotent control. Though the path ahead may seem shrouded in darkness and uncertainty, my light shall pierce through the shadows, illuminating the way for those who place their trust in me. Heed my voice and humble yourselves before my throne. Cast off the shackles of pride and rebellion that have bound you to the ways of wickedness, and embrace the path of righteousness and repentance. 
for as I have demonstrated time and again, my judgment is severe upon those who defy my will. But my mercy is boundless for those who seek my face with contrite hearts. Look to the heavens and discern the signs I have set forth, for they herald the unfolding of my eternal purposes. Let my wonders ignite within you a fervent desire to align your ways with my will, that you may be found worthy to stand before me on that day when I shall judge the nations and separate the wheat from the chaff. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the Eternal One who reigns supreme over the vast expanse of the universe. My words are eternal and immutable, and my judgments are righteous and just. Hearken unto my call, O children of earth, and let what I have ordained compel you to seek me with all your heart, soul, and strength. For in the end all knees shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that I alone am the Lord, the sovereign ruler of the celestial realms and the terrestrial domains. Embrace my mercy while it can yet be found, and walk in the light of my truth, that you may inherit the eternal glories I have prepared for those who love and revere me. This is my decree, spoken forth from the throne of eternity. Let it reverberate through the corridors of time and resound in the hearts of all who have ears to hear. Seek me diligently, for I am the way, the truth, and the life, and in me alone can true peace and salvation be found. My beloved child, just as darkness fell during a crucial sacrifice at Calvary, the upcoming alignment holds profound meaning. The timing of this heavenly event is no coincidence, as it mirrors the cycles of renewal and redemption. The celestial alignment will herald a time of important developments in the world. Issues of justice, accountability, and leadership will come to the forefront, as the workings of power are scrutinized and evaluated. The heavens will bear witness to these unfolding events. When you witness this celestial wonder and hear of the momentous events unfolding, know that they are all part of a greater plan. They are reminders of my enduring presence and love for all my children. Trust in the journey, even when the path may seem uncertain, for everything has its purpose in the grand scheme of existence. Remember that you are forever held in my loving embrace and that my light will always guide you through the shadows. I am the God of wonders, the author of redemption and the source of all wisdom. My precious child, for I, the Lord of heaven and earth, have orchestrated the heavens as a testament to my sovereign power and as a sign of my deep love for you. In the alignment of stars, and the marriage of light and shadow, there are profound spiritual truths to be discerned by those who seek my face. Just as I delivered my people from bondage in Egypt and led them through the wilderness by a pillar of cloud, by day and a pillar of fire by night, so too will I guide you through the challenges and uncertainties that lie ahead. The Passover season is a sacred time a reminder of my covenant faithfulness and my unwavering commitment to your redemption. As you contemplate the sacrifice of the spotless lamb, let it point your heart to the ultimate sacrifice made on your behalf, the precious blood shed for the forgiveness of your sins and the reconciliation of your soul to me. In the midst of a world that often seems shrouded in darkness, I call you to be a light reflecting the radiance of my glory and the truth of my word. Let your life be a living testament to the transformative power of my grace as you walk in humble obedience and steadfast faith. As the heavens declare my handiwork and the firmament shows forth my glory, let the wonder of it all inspire you to a deeper level of trust and devotion. For I am the God who calls forth the stars by name and upholds the universe by the word of my power. No circumstance or challenge you face is beyond my sovereign control or my ability to work all things together for your ultimate good and my eternal glory. In the days to come, as you witness the unfolding of events on the world stage, remember 
that I am the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and that my purposes will not be thwarted. Though the nations may rage and the rulers of the earth may conspire against me, I will have the final word, and my kingdom will endure forever. When you feel overwhelmed by the chaos and confusion of these times, find rest and refuge in my unchanging character and my unfailing promises. I am your rock, your fortress, and your deliverer, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. As you fix your eyes on me and seek my face with all your heart, I will reveal myself to you in new and profound ways. I will give you wisdom and discernment to navigate the challenges of these days, and I will empower you with my spirit to live a life that glorifies me and advances my kingdom. Remember that you are not alone in this journey. You are part of a vast and eternal family, united by faith in me and love for one another. Encourage and exhort one another, bearing each other's burdens and spurring one another on toward love and good deeds. And when the final day comes and I return in power and great glory, you will stand before me with confidence, knowing that your redemption has been secured and your eternal future is assured. My beloved child, hold fast to the hope that is within you, and let your light shine brightly in a world that desperately needs to see a reflection of my love and grace. I am with you always, even to the end of the age, and my love for you knows no bounds. May your heart be filled with joy and peace this Passover season, and may you experience a renewed wonder and awe at the unfolding of my cosmic plan of redemption. My cherished one, as you witness the marvels in the heavens above, let your heart be drawn into deeper contemplation of the spiritual realities they signify. For just as the celestial bodies move in perfect harmony according to my grand design, so too are the events of your life and the world around you unfolding in accordance with my sovereign plan. In the alignment of the stars and the interplay of light and darkness, there are profound lessons to be learned about the nature of my grace and the power of my redemption. Just as the darkness of night gives way to the radiant dawn, so too will the shadows of sin and suffering ultimately be dispelled by the triumphant light of my love. During this sacred Passover season, as you remember, the deliverance of my people from bondage and the sacrifice of the spotless lamb, let your heart be filled with gratitude. In a world that often feels engulfed in chaos and uncertainty, I call you to be a beacon of hope and a messenger of my truth. Let your words and actions be a reflection of my character and a testament to the transformative power of my spirit at work within you. As you navigate the challenges and trials that lie ahead, trust in my unfailing love and my infallible wisdom. For I am the God who works all things together for the good of those who love me and are called according to my purpose. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and no scheme of the enemy can thwart my plans for your life. When the storms of life rage around you and the darkness seems overwhelming, remember that I am your ever-present help in times of trouble. I will be your shelter and your strength, your comfort and your guide. Lean into my everlasting arms and find rest for your weary soul. As you fix your eyes on the wonders of the heavens and ponder the mysteries of my creation, let your heart be filled with reverence and awe. For the same God who set the stars in their courses and upholds the universe by his mighty power is the one who has engraved your name upon the palms of his hands and holds you close to his heart. In the days to come, as you witness the unfolding of my plans and purposes on the earth, remember that you are a vital part of my eternal story. I have called you to be a light in the darkness, a voice of hope in a world filled with despair and a living embodiment of my love and grace. As you walk in obedience to my word and surrender your life to my will, I will empower you with my spirit and equip you with every good thing you need to fulfill your God-given destiny. Trust in my timing, my provision, and my perfect plan, even when the path ahead seems uncertain or unclear. 
Keep your eyes fixed on the horizon of my return, for the day is coming when every wrong will be made right. Every tear will be wiped away, and every knee will bow and worship before my throne. On that glorious day you will enter into the fullness of my presence, and the joy of your eternal inheritance. My cherished child, I am the Eternal One, the weaver of worlds, the sculptor of souls. With meticulous care I have shaped every facet of your existence, pouring my boundless love into each delicate detail. As the tides of turmoil surge across the earth, I stand as your unwavering anchor. Though the tempests of war, disease, and suffering lash against the shores of your life, do not allow despair to erode your faith. Amidst the birth pangs of a world in transition, I am orchestrating a glorious unveiling. The present tribulations are but fleeting shadows, soon to be dispersed by the radiant dawn of my eternal kingdom. In that realm of unending splendor, every wound will be healed, every sorrow transmuted into unbridled joy. Arise, my beloved, and prepare your hearts, for the sands of time are swiftly falling. Align your priorities with the eternal, shedding the encumbrances of temporal pursuits. Speak forth truth with courage, allowing my words to flow through you. Embody the wisdom and character of Christ in every interaction, fostering unity among my people. You're a true citizenship rooted in my eternal kingdom. Invest in the imperishable treasures of serving me and loving others, for therein lies the true measure of a life well lived. I impart to you a peace that surpasses the grasp of human intellect, a joy that bubbles up from the wellspring of my presence within you. Human history is shifting, the foundations of worldly power crumbling beneath the weight of my impending glory. For those with eyes attuned to the eternal, the signs of my advancing kingdom are unmistakable. Yet even as the tempest rages, anchor your soul in the unshakable promises of my word. Do not let the chaos and confusion of your earthly journey discourage you, my beloved. Every twist and turn, every trial and triumph, is ordained by my hand before the foundation of the world. As you relinquish control and lean wholly upon my grace, you will discover the effortless flow of a life surrendered to my purposes. Pour your energy into the furthering of my kingdom. Store up for yourselves treasures that will endure, riches of the spirit accumulated through humble acts of love and service rendered in the secret place, seen only by your heavenly Father. As the dawn of this new era approaches, Never forget that you are a vessel chosen and consecrated for my purposes, a living epistle of my grace to a world shrouded in darkness. Plant your feet firmly upon the bedrock of my unchanging word, for it is a lamp to guide your steps and a light to illuminate your path. As my ambassadors on the earth, you are called to embody kingdom virtues in every facet of your life. Be a living demonstration of a different way of being, a witness to the transformative power of my love. Where division and strife threaten to tear apart the fabric of community, step in as agents of reconciliation, sowing seeds of peace and understanding. As the final pages of this age are being written and the hour of my appearing draws near, let your hearts be filled not with trepidation but with a holy anticipation. Stay alert, keep watch, for the hour of my return will come like a thief in the night. Live each day as a precious gift, in joyful surrender to my perfect plan. Know this, my child. Nothing in all creation can separate you from my love. My love for you is a consuming fire, an unquenchable blaze that will never dim or fade. You are mine forever and always held fast in the grip of my unfailing grace. So take heart, lift up your head, and fix your eyes on the glory that is to come. Until then, my beloved, walk in the light of my countenance, abide in the shelter of my presence, and rest in the assurance of my unfailing love. Amen.